excited in, to be in God's house. I need you to shout hallelujah. If you are thankful for strength that God has given you as we started this fast, why don't you lift up your hands and shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Come on, get excited. Come on, put your hands together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome to our online viewers as well. We're so glad that you made it today. Come on, put those hands together. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. We bless your name, oh God.
praise, oh God. You are worthy of all praise. I'll praise you, Lord. I'll praise you, Lord. Come on, lift your hands. I'll praise you, Lord. Doesn't matter. I'll praise you, Lord. I'll praise you, Lord. In the midst of the storm, that's God. I'll praise you, Lord. I'll praise you, Lord. I'll praise you.
is our heart's cry, oh God. And this is our heart's desire, oh God. Come on, why don't you say something sweet even unto the Lord today? We bless your name, oh God. Oh, be lifted, oh God. Oh, be lifted high, oh God. We cast our crowns before you, God. We cast our crowns before you, oh God. We magnify your name, oh God. Hallelujah.
the one that never fails, the one that does not slumber, the one that is faithful to the very end. His name is Yahweh, the covenant initiating, the covenant initiating, the covenant making and the covenant keeping God. We give you all the glory. We cast our crowns before you. Oh, great majesty, we exalt you. Be thou exalted, mighty God. There is no one like you. There is no one that can do the things that you do. You stand in a class of your own. Father, we exalt your great and mighty name. Thank you, O oh God, for being in our midst this evening. We give you all the glory, mighty God. In Jesus' name, we have worship. Come on, if you're a conqueror, presence of the law there is fullness of joy and at your right hands they are pleasures forevermore thank you lord in jesus name we have worship amen amen you may be gloriously seated thank you so much ppv good evening house of praise Yes, it's evening here in Mississauga for my online audience and my online family. This is the house of praise. Thank you for being a part of this service. And to all of you that are in the building that braved the rain and made it here, you are welcome. Again, to my online family and for everyone that is new and worshiping with us at the house of praise for the first time, you are welcome. This is the house of praise. The house of praise is a house of champions. This is a place where champions are being raised and we're making a difference in our society. So I'm excited that you have joined us at such an exciting time here at the House of Praise, both online and in person. Now I say that it is an exciting time because since Wednesday of this week, we have um, embarked on a 40-day fast. Come on, are you excited? All right, all right, you're sounding like you're fasting. This is good. All right, so to my online audience, and if you're here for the first time, I'm sure you're wondering what is this all about? Well, since Wednesday, we've actually embarked on a 40-day fast where we've been meeting together as a family, both online and in person, twice a day at 7 a.m. from Mondays to Fridays, so 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. And on Saturday, we're meeting at 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. And on Sunday, we're meeting at 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. all the time, our Eastern Standard Time. Now, for our Fridays and um, Sunday service, the Friday 7 p.m. and the Sunday 9 a.m. services, they are happening in person. So that's why, you know, you're not seeing us from our or our houses, but you're seeing us from our church building. So this is your opportunity. If you've been wondering, okay, should I come? Should I not come? Well, I'd like to extend an invitation. Come and join us this Sunday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time as we engage the Word of God to be able to be transformed and to have dominion. Because this fast, the theme of it is dominion, which is inspired from Genesis 1 verse 26. And I have no doubt that even as we started this week, you know, praying about dominion over fear, you're going to leave this 40 days completely transformed and walking in full dominion in the mighty name of Jesus. So again, family, this is just a reminder that tomorrow we're actually meeting online at 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, as we go through this service, there's, there are three things that I want to mention. The first thing is, if you're at home, please make sure that you have your communion elements because we'll be taking the communion towards um, the latter end of this service. And if you're in the building, you should have received the communion at your entrance. The second thing that I would like to um, let you know is, please make sure that you share this broadcast with a family, with a friend. We want to get as many people, um, you know, partake of this program as possible. 
global. And number three is, I ask that you have an expectation. The Bible tells us that the expectation of the righteous, that your expectation in Christ Jesus will not be cut short. So you still have some time to get together, get an expectation from God, because God is definitely here in our midst and he's ready to answer. Your prayer is ready to answer my prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. All right, so at the House of Praise, we are a Bible-believing church, but we're also a multi-generational church, which means that independent of which, which age group you find yourself, we have, um, we have a segment just for you. Now, tonight, you're going to get the opportunity to um, see what we at the Ignite Church are enjoying. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, what is the Ignite Church? Well, the Ignite Church is the young adult expressions of the House of Praise for individuals between the ages of 17 to 30, where we're being equipped with the word of God to make full expressions of our global destiny. So any global leaders in the house? Oh, okay. Awesome. All right. And I'm sure there's so many of you guys online. Please put it in the chat. Show your excitement because Ignite Church is going to be represented at this service. So without further ado, House of Please, please join me as we welcome the Ignite Church Choir, Heart and Soul. Come on, if you're ready to give praise to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha and Omega, can I hear you say Jesus? Somebody say Jesus! Hallelujah, he's worthy of our praise, he's worthy of our adoration, and we're going to give it to him, amen? So I just need you to turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, get ready, get ready. Hallelujah. Come on, put those hands together like this, come on.
tonight. Just give him praise. Give him the worship that he deserves. Give him the glory that he deserves. He's mighty to save. He's mighty to deliver. And he's mighty to restore. We serve a mighty God. So no matter what situation you might be going through, because you serve a mighty God, you're always able to come out on top. Amen. Amen. Father, we surrender to you right now. We go in your presence and just surrender to you. Just surrender to God right now. Surrender your heart to God. Surrender your mind to God. Father, we're here for you. You're the only one that matters in this room.
Father, we worship you. Lift those hands and magnify his name. He's holy. He's worthy. He's the lamb that sits upon the throne. We worship you. Jesus, the lamb that sits upon the throne, the lamb of God that takes away our sin. Worthy is the lamb. We worship you. We honor you for your sacrifice for us. We honor you for your blood that you shed for us. Thank you for being our substitute. Thank you for being our Passover. Thank you for being our propitiation. Thank you for being our ransom. We worship you, Jesus. Lamb of God, we honor you. What is the Lamb? Glory to your name forevermore, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Take this song from the beginning again. today Lord in Jesus mighty name amen and amen and amen come on go ahead give God praise give him praise give him praise give him praise come on give him praise give him praise give him praise we worship you Lord we honor you Lord in Jesus mighty name we worship amen and amen Please be seated. God bless you. Good evening. Thank you, heart and soul. Thank you, guys. Well done. Please I appreciate them. I appreciate them. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is good. Once again, good evening to you and good evening to our online family joining us from different parts. You're welcome um, to join us in this service today. And those of you that are here in person, celebrate and honor you for being here also thank you for coming um if you're joining us for the very first time or the first time in a very long while you've joined us or you are joining us at a very important time in what god is doing in our lives god has inspired us and engraced us to go on a journey and today is the third day in this journey and god is doing this because greater things lie ahead of you Greater things lie ahead of you. Yeah. Greater things lie ahead of you. Yeah. You have not reached the zenith or the pinnacle of what God can do in your life. Yeah. Greater things lie ahead of you. Yeah. 
according to the word of God, gospel according to St. John chapter 1 and the 50th verse, Jesus Christ speaking says, you will see greater things than this. And as the Lord lives, you will see greater things than you've seen. Thank you. You will see greater things than you have seen. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will see greater things than I've seen. I will see greater things, yes, than I've seen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In accordance with scripture, your future is greater than your past. Your future is greater than your past. Your future is greater than your past. My future is greater than my past. My future is greater than my past. I think it's first, first um, Peter chapter 2, starting from verse 6 or so. And tells us at the point there, he tells us that the future glory of this temple shall be greater than its past glory. The f- your future is greater than your past. In the name of Jesus Christ. My future, my future is greater than my past. My future is greater than my past. One more time, my future is greater than my past. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please be seated. God bless you. You're very much welcome. If you join us and you're at home, if you're here, definitely you will have received one of these communion elements. But if you're joining us from home, joining us online, please um, avail yourself of communion elements. It could be a piece of bread and water or juice or biscuit. Just put it together. We're going to be taking communion. Through these 40 days, every single night, every single evening, we're praying Monday to Fridays, we're praying 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And on Saturdays and Sunday, the weekends, we're praying at 6 p.m. And for each and every one of those nights, we're partaking of the communion. We're partaking of the communion. Keep that in mind. So avail yourself of these communion elements, a lot of it. Praise God. Praise God. As a Christian, you and I must never get tired of praying. Of course, there are a lot of other things that our lives entail as Christians, all right? A lot of other things that our lives entail, all right? So, of course, we have our careers to pursue. We have our businesses to run. We have, perhaps, ministry to be engaged in, all right, and to administer. We have our families, definitely, to to be with. We have relationships to invest in. We have all of this. But Jesus Christ was speaking in the book of Luke, the 18th chapter and the first verse. Jesus Christ was speaking to us, our Lord and Savior, in his earthly ministry on the 18th chapter of the gospel according to St. Luke. Okay? And the first verse. And he said, men, that means you and I, anybody born of a woman, always ought to pray and not lose that. You see, Jesus Christ is telling you and I, this is the prescription. Men always ought to pray. Now, if you look at chapter 11 of the book of Luke, chapter 11, verse 1, you know, and I, I like what happened here. It's Luke chapter 11 and verse 1. Thank you so much. And it came to pass, it's talking about Jesus Christ now, while he was praying in a certain place, and he stopped, when he stopped, when he ceased praying, one of his disciples said to him, what did he say to him? Lord, teach us to pray. Lord, teach us to pray. And what has happened here is that the disciples had watched Jesus. They've seen Jesus do some things that are amazing. For example, in the book of Luke, this same book of Luke, this is chapter 11 now. So let's go to three chapters before this. Chapter 8, and let's start from verse 20. Luke chapter 8, verse 20. Verse 20. All right, keep going. Verse 21. Keep going, please. 22. And on a certain day, talking about Jesus, he got into a boat with his disciples again. And he said to them, let us cross over to the other side. And they launched out. Keep going, please. But as they sailed, he fell asleep, and a wind storm came down on the lake, and they were filling with water. Hmm. 
and they were in jeopardy. There was danger. Then they came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. <laughs> then he arose and he rebuilt the wind. He spoke directly to the wind and the raging of the water and they ceased. There was a car. The wind heard what he was saying. The water heard what he was saying. Wherever the wind was steered up from the source of that herd, and it came down. Then he said to them, where is your faith? And they were afraid and marveled. And this is where I'm really going. I just wanted to give you a bit of context. Saying to one another, this is what he said to one another, who can this be? For he commands even the winds and water, and they obey him. This is the point. The people that were closest to Jesus marveled at him. The, who can, we know him. Who can this be? That is why when they now saw him praying in a place, Luke chapter 11, verse 1 now, when they now saw him praying, they came to him, they said, you know what, Master, we just, the light bulb just went off in our, in our heads right now. We can connect this thing you do that is called prayer privately. This thing you do called prayer. We can connect it to what happened when you stood up in the boat and you rebuked the wind and the wind heard you. We can connect it. Because we see that everything you are doing normally, we do that also. The only missing piece is this prayer part. Because the people that were in the boat with Jesus, at least we know from scripture, four of them were expert fishermen. Peter and Andrew, James and John. They were expert fishermen. That was their trade. They know this thing better than Jesus. We are better than you on this. We are more skillful than you. We are the one that taught you cyber security. How come that you're getting this kind of a job and now you're the one now we're send, I'm sending my resume to? You see that thing? The missing piece is the prayer part. It's what the church is missing. Listen, the time for arguments is gone. The time for postulation is gone. The body of Christ, and I'm, I'm speaking generally now, the body of Christ ought to wake up and not be ashamed of prayer. Not be ashamed of prayer. Tell me it's gone now when, you know, in, they say, and statistically, so prayer meetings in churches are the least attended meetings. Rubbish. Rubbish. And people believe that and they absorb that into their spirit and they believe that, oh, you know what, we've got to make the church seeker sensitive. That's not biblical. The church ought to be spirit ruled, spirit directed. It is as the Holy Spirit. They were in the church. Let me show you. Acts chapter 13 from verse 1. Acts 13 verse 1. Are you with me this evening? Acts 13, we're, we're trying to do some resetting at these preambles before we get into what we're doing. In the church that was in Antioch, so this is the church now, there were certain prophets there. They were not the only one there, but all these guys were there. Barnabas, Simeon, who was called, keep, keep on going. Nigel, Lucius of Serene, Maniam, who had been brought up with Herod, the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they ministered to the Lord and fasted, while they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Spirit said, the Holy Spirit said. So the Holy Spirit was in that service in the church. The Holy Spirit was there. And the Holy Spirit said, separate unto me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work which I have called them. The Holy Spirit said, and what happened, what did they do after this now? Having fasted and prayed, they laid hands on them and said, you see, they were sensitive to the promptings of the Holy Spirit in the church. The time, if the church becomes dominated by the Spirit of God, the presence of God is so strong in the church, which only comes through consecration in praying and fasting, we will not be seeking people. The church will not be looking for people. You know, it's so sad. I was reading this this morning. Um, an article that somebody had written concerning Fox News. Fox News news. Alright? Fox News. And the person was really upset. The person is a Christian. Was really upset with Fox News. And the person was saying, how is it that there was a particular program, or show? I think it's called Fox and Friends or so. 
Fox and Friends on Fox News. Uh, you know. And the person was saying, why is that they're bringing in um, um, people that are into sorcery and divination on that program? So the person gave an example of how sometimes they go, they brought in somebody there that was an occultist and that was talking about divination and sorcery and the host of the show right there and then asked him, can you read my future for me? And he was reading the future. So they said, this is, this is bad. So they, they, there was a pushback on that. So the person was arguing that Fox News is not learned the lesson. They, 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 after the whole blowback, they're coming back again. They're bringing somebody else again now to another person again now. There's an astrologer to come in, to come and speak to that and, and, and concerning the eclipse and all of those things, all it means to predict the future, to reach the palms and all of that. So the person was really upset. So when I read it, my initial reaction automatically is to say, oh my God, what is this again? But suddenly then, after about three, four minutes, I got to check in my spirit that you see life abhors a vacuum. For a TV host to sit on TV and tell an occultist, tell me my future, is because people are looking for spirituality. And they've written off the church. There's, no, there's religiosity in the church, but there's no spirituality. Is anybody here? Yes, but when, when the church started becoming seeker sensitive, all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit is not there. There's no spirituality anymore. The church had become so programmed, so programmed, so sanitized that the Holy Spirit can't come in there. So, what has happened then is the Holy Spirit is out, but there is God has put eternity in man. Man is still looking for spirituality. Everybody is still looking for something. Deep that is beyond understanding. It was in the same article that I was reading that they said there was the, the brightest blast of light that has ever happened that astronomers, ast, no, not, not astronomers, not astrologers now. The one that is the science part of it. Astronomers, right? Yeah, has ever seen that they discovered it and they've now finally, after long research, they found the source of it. It was the one particular star, some, something. But they said, but in finding the source of it, it brought out other mysteries that they cannot solve. It's incredible because man is looking for something. They still can't, they are putting all these theories there that they're teaching our students, our students in school, but they can't explain it. They can, they're telling you, okay, evolution is where you came from. You, you did this, you did this, and you, and all of that, but then, why do people die? They can't, they, 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 they can't figure that part out. Then why do people die? What, what is death? Church is losing their spirituality. Christians are losing their spirituality because we will not give ourselves to consecration and to fasting. Consecration in the place of prayer. Please, don't be ashamed of praying. Don't be ashamed of prayer. Don't be ashamed of fasting. The Bible says, Jesus says in the book of Mark eleven seventeen, 17, my house shall be called the house of prayer. I'm glad we're praying and fasting. God bless you, house of praise. God bless you, Ignite Church. God bless you. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I feel lighter. I feel sharper. Do you? This thing called food, I pray <laughs> it will not <laughs> mess up too many people's destiny. I mean, I feel what people feel. Two days ago, my daughter was making fun of me. She said, she said Papa, what are, what are you doing? I said, uh, <clears throat> I said, um, <clears throat> it's one channel that I subscribe to. It's a full channel. I subscribe to it during this fast. <laughs> she said, are you serious? I said, yes. I said, come on, see. So I showed her my phone. She said, is it serious? I said, this is what I do in fasting. When I'm fasting, I, 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 because for the joy set before me. <laughs> this is just my own weird way. But you know, by the time the fast is over, I've forgotten. I said, I like it like that. I like it. He's letting me know this is the price I'm paying. It's a price to pay. Ah, but I pray for you, whatever the enemy has set in motion that will not allow you 
to maximize your potential and fulfill destiny. Today, it is broken in Jesus' name. The cycle of spiritual laziness, I come against it today. I break it in Jesus' name. The cycle of spiritual lethargy, I break it in Jesus' name. Open your mouth, speak in tongues for a minute or two. Kabaye fasi le brake fene mataleya. Not me, she kaprale vanaskaya. No bale freke segede. Oh, Satan, you are a liar. Sunama take a bele brekede. Greater things lie ahead of me. No, no, you will not keep me. You will not keep me down. Sukape ke venetelia. You bandele friends e feke tanayala. Hosake te belera. Motevi. Motevia Katama Roma Zevelia Sonta, are you praying? Kabote Belezia Rodan de Belezia Zanaya Rokabatu was at the end. Liba Baba 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 Makemba Levi said it handy. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Leave those hands and receive grace. Receive grace. Not by power, not by mind, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Father, I receive grace from you. I obtain grace. I receive grace to pray, to fast, to stand, oh God. Yes, yes, I receive the grace. I receive grace from you. Glory to your name, O God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. God bless you. As we get into God's word today, please give me Nehemiah chapter 6 on the screen. Ne Nehemiah chapter number 6. Akabakavanada. One of um, my daughters in church here, <clears throat> I've known her for a long time. She wrote me during the weekend, said she just wanted to say thank you. So I was wondering, thank you. I've not, I didn't do anything. But basically, she was trying to, she was just, she said, her son went to the recent retreat conducted by Emerge just last weekend. And she said, since her son got back home, all he's been doing is praying. Yeah. Pray. Pray. Fired up for God. Pray. So I said, oh, okay. I just want to thank God. That it wasn't me that put that together. It was Tomiwa and the entire team of the Image Church. I want to thank God for every one of you. Thank God for you. Thank God for you. Well done, Tomiwa, Miriam, and the entire team and volunteers that went with them. And you can look at, you can see some of it on, on our social media page, some of the things, you know, those wonderful, precious um, leaders of Image Church put together for the teenagers. Incredible. They had fun, for sure. They had a lot of fun. But they, they got into spirituality. And that's so, so critical. So grateful to God for what God is doing. Nehemiah chapter 6. This is the word God gave me for somebody. And this is the word for tonight. This is the word God gave me. You will celebrate at the end. You will celebrate at the end. Uh, I don't know what, it, but you will celebrate at the end. You will celebrate at the end. You will celebrate at the end. I will celebrate at the end. I will celebrate at the end. Oh, open your mouth. I will celebrate at the end. I will celebrate at the end. Oh, yes. Touch three people and prophesy into their lives. You will celebrate at the end. You will celebrate at the end. Come on, come on. Let two more people know. You will celebrate at the end. Open your mouth. Speak into the destiny of your brother or sister. You will celebrate at the end. 
and the vent of the Zephini. Yafundele Gabadusia. Thank you, Lord. Please be seated. Ah! The word straight from God to somebody here on this third day of this journey is that you will celebrate. If that sounds like you, open your mouth, give Jesus a shout of praise. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I, I will celebrate at the end. Satan, I want you to know, I will celebrate at the end. <laughs> will you celebrate at the end? Where are the people, no matter what is happening now, that we celebrate at the end? I'll celebrate at the end. Celebrate at the end. Thank you, Lord. Please be seated. Now it happened when some Balat, Tobiah, Geshem, the Arab, and the rest of our enemies heard that I had rebuilt the wall and there were no bricks left in it. Though at that time, I've not even hung the doors in the gates. Thank you, Lord. That some Balat, Geshem, sent to me saying, come, let us meet together among the villages in the plain of Ono. But they thought to do me harm. So I sent messengers to them saying, I'm doing a great work. Somebody say great work. Great work. Oh, say it again, great work. great work. So that I cannot come down. Ah, you will not come down. Yeah. <laughs> Wherever God has lifted you to, you will not come down. Yeah. Satan is a liar, you will not come down. Yeah. Satan is a liar, you will not come down. Yeah. You will not know a better yesterday. You will not know a better yesterday. Your children will not know a better yesterday. Your family will not know a better yesterday. You will not come down. I, I will celebrate at the end. I will celebrate at the end. I told them I cannot come down. Why should the work cease while I leave it to go down? to you but they sent me this message four times how many times and I answered them you see Satan is sending messages to you by whispering to you telling you this thing are you sure are you sure are you sure will this thing work out tell him I will celebrate at the end In Nehemiah said they were persistent in sending me message I also was persistent in giving them an answer when they're asking you will you work out what will you tell them you have to be persistent in your declaration if they have said it four times and Nehemiah only answered once he's losing already you open your mouth you keep saying it it's not enough to say it here you say it when you get home. When you're driving home, you're saying it. When you get home, you say it. When somebody greets you when you get home, you say, ah, how are you? How are you doing? I will celebrate at the end. I say, ah, I'm just greeting you. I know you're greeting me. But first, let me declare, who knows what you're carrying? I will celebrate at the end. Celebrate at the end. Can you get back home? If you have a letter that is contrary to the will of God for your life, look at that letter. Tell the letter. You are a message from Sam Balat, but I want to tell you, I will celebrate. Oh, I thought I was preaching in a spirit filled church. I thought I was in a spirit filled church. I will celebrate at the, at the end. At the end, he shall speak. 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 I will celebrate at the end. Take a look at that letter of rejection. Take a look at that diagnosis. It's all right. It's all right. This diagnosis is dated 12th of February. That's fine. 
It's dated 7th of December last year. That's all right. But I want you to know, diagnosis, this letter is coming from the pit of hell. This is the will of Satan concerning me. But I want you to know, I will celebrate at the end. I answered them in the same manner. I said the same thing. Ah, then Sambalat realized that that is not working. He sent his servant now to me as before now. The fifth time. This time with an open letter in his hand. Pressure tactics of the enemy. This time he was sending messages before subtle messages. That's what it means. But this time around now he now sent open letter. It's no longer subtle now. He said it, is, it was written. It is reported among the nations. And Geshem says that you and the Jews plan to rebel. Rebel? Therefore, according to these rumors, you are rebuilding the wall that you may be their king. Seriously? Listen to me. When you are at the point and you start declaring the word of God forcefully, the next thing Satan will bring to you is to tell you you're being proud. He said, who do you think you are? You're just being a rebel. You're just being proud. You're just being proud. You want to do it. It's just because you're just, you, know, you have selfish ambition. You want to be the king. You, uh, you have to understand, Nehemiah was building this wall because he has authority from the king. That the communication of your faith might become effective by the acknowledgement of every good thing in you. I'm not saying it because of my own power. I'm not saying it because that is what I just desire. I'm saying it because that is what the word of God says about me. Ah, you will celebrate at the end. Doesn't the Bible say the end of a matter is better than the beginning? Is better than the beginning? I will celebrate at the end. Keep going, please. And you have also appointed prophets to proclaim concerning you at Jerusalem saying there's a king in Judah. Now these matters will be reported to the king. So come therefore now. Let us consult together. Then I said to him and say, no such thing as you have said have been done. You have invented them in your own heart. Satan, you are the one that is a rebel. I am not a rebel. I have been reconciled to Christ, washed with his blood. I'm not condemned. You are the one condemned. For the ruler of this world is judged already. For they were all trying to make us, come and speak to me, afraid. This is why, this is the goal of the fear. This is the goal of the fear. The goal is that your hands will be weakened in the work. That it will not be done. That you will leave the pursuit of what God has ordained for you. You will leave it alone. The fear will so grip you that you won't believe God for the healing anymore. The fear will so grip you that you won't believe God for fruitfulness anymore. That discouragement will so capture you that you won't believe God for gainful employment anymore. That it will be so bad that you will say to yourself, is not doable. This thing, that you will so look at it, the situation, and you will say to yourself, no, what's the point? Another fast again, what's the point? That's the goal, to weaken you. The man said, no, I'm not going to fall for that. Somebody said, I won't fall for this. No, I will not fall for that. Keep going, then verse 10. Afterward, I came to the house of Shemaiah, the son of Delilah, the son of Mehetabel, who was a secret informer. And he said, ah, let us meet together in the house of God. These are the people now, before it was Sambalat, Tobias, and Geshem, the Arab. You knew they were not Jews. You knew these guys don't come to synagogue. Now, Satan realizes that he's used all those people that seem to be experts. It's like you're not getting it. You're still saying, I will celebrate at the end. Then they will use a sister in church. Secret informant. This one is not inside the house of God. He will use a brother in church. He will now use somebody inside the church. 
At the end of service, they will come to you. Hello, my sister. Hello, my sister. Yeah. You know, as I, I, when you just walk into the church, I just felt God just said to me that I should tell you. <laughs> Let us meet together in the house of God within the temple. Just be listening. Follow this. Let us close the doors of the temple. For they are coming to kill you. Indeed, at night, they will come to kill you. And I said, ah, should such a man as I flee, who is there such as I who will go into the temple to save his life? They only overcame because they didn't love their life to death. I will not go in. Look at the next verse. Then I perceived. God has not sent him. God has not sent him at all. God, come on, speak to me. God has not sent him at all. Be careful. Don't just think anybody that opens their mouth in church is speaking by God. There are some people that are looking for relevance. Just walk up to you. My sister, you know, um, this is what the Lord is saying. Who solicited your prophecy? He says, God has not sent him at all. But he pronounced this prophecy against me because Tobias and Sambalat hired him. Tobias and Sambalat came to me on their own. It was not working. So they went to hire a sister in church. They went to hire a brother in church. They went to hire somebody to say prophecy. One man told me, you know, I have, I, I have, I have too many experiences in this. A man called me. I had a situation whereby it was a very um, dangerous situation. Let's put it that way. Dangerous situation. God had opened up my eyes that I ought not to accept um, what the person was offering. What they were offering was for me to come and speak on a particular platform. And it was, it was an okay platform. It was a good platform. But God had opened up my eyes, I should not accept it. So I told them, no. Because as the person was speaking to me, inviting me, and I was listening and listening respectfully, listening respectfully, all of a sudden the person said something to me. He said, on one of those days, I would like you to be, to come, on the days you come, on the first day you do this, on the second day you do this. He said, and on that third day, I would like you to come and sit down. I said, okay. I said, so what am I doing on that day? He said, nothing. You will just sit down. But at the person, the way the person said, sit down, something clicked in my spirit. I just perceived something. So I said, I asked, I said let me ask you a question. I said, who are the previous people that have been there on this platform and done this? She told me a couple of people. Because I, I, so I said, well, if I'm doing the first day and second day, let me just do the first day and second day and let me go back. I have quite a lot of other things to do. He said, no, 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 no. I want you to sit down on that day and all of that. So I said, okay. In previous times, they started mentioning names. You know, I started mentioning names. Of the names this person ran to, I remember, I know three of them. The three of them that is mentioned, they are no longer effective in ministry. They've sat them down. Ah. <laughs> that is why you have to be careful. It's not everything that glitters that is gold. So I said, I, I said, okay. I said, thank you so much, man. I will get back to you. Kaba kava yanata, feyaka, sota maya, fuyele fele 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 fire. I said, I said, I said, man, I will get back to you. So I prayed a lot more about it, and then before. Then I, I got back to her and I told her after about three days that, sorry about that, I won't be able to um, um, engage and come for that um, and speak on that platform. Thank you for the opportunity. Now, on that normal circumstance, what do, what do you think should happen at that point? From that point on? She just said, oh, okay, thank you so much, and then move on, right? Right? No way. Didn't move on. Started calling everybody around. Everybody around called people in Nigeria, called people in Canada here, in other provinces, called people from different places to put pressure on me that I must be there. 
are. The more they called people, and those ones who called me, the more, <laughs> the more I said to Topsy, I said, Topsy, I said, Topsy, these people are, I said, they've seen what Jesus Christ is doing to glorify his name. They want to sit me down, like they sat this one down, sat that one down, sat this one down. I said, never, never. Then after that, they, they started, they, they, they said, okay, it's not just about invitation now. They said, they called somebody again and said, the person said, oh, this person had, is doing something and just formed a committee and just wanted it to be as part of the brain trust of the committee. You see, you have to be careful not to fall into flattery. I said, no, no, I'm not doing. They've sat everybody down. I'm not doing. I'm not doing. I'll give you a second example. A lady came to me some years ago and said she had a dream and told me her dream. She was the wife of somebody that was prominent in the church. She told me she had a dream. I said, okay, thank you so much. I appreciate it. So later on, I saw that, some weeks later, I saw that she started showing attitude. Her husband started showing attitude also. I was going on with this table. <laughs> then anyway, to cut a long story short, I had an opportunity of calling both of them and sitting down with them and talking to them. I said, what's going on with both of you? What's going on? Is there anything wrong? Then she told me, she said she told me a dream. I didn't act on the dream. Ah. I said, act on the dream. Yeah. Because she had told me a dream that she said she wanted me to act on it concerning the judge. Ah. I said, act on the dream. I said, you told me the dream. He said, I didn't believe her. I said, no, 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 it's not a matter of believing. You told me the dream. If God has sent you to me, you have done your job. You've spoken to me. It's not left to me and God. Leave me and God to work it out. She didn't like it. She wanted, and I said, <laughs> I said, Topsy, you know, once I do that, she will be the Holy Spirit of the church. To be the Holy Spirit of the church. If God sends you to somebody, my sister, I, what I saw concerning you, I feel the Holy Spirit showed me that you should be more prayerful. Amen? Thank you so much. Then you move on. Don't come back to me and say, are you praying? So how are you going to begin the prayer? That your job is not to implement. Be careful about people that give prophecy and want to implement it. Is one that backs it up. I'm very careful. Two ladies came up. They don't come to us of praise. They showed up. When we're in Lenwood, they just showed up towards the end, strategically towards the end of one of our services. And said they have a message for Pastor Wally. They came, they drove all the way from Windsor. From Windsor. <laughs> Wind. <laughs> Uh, so they said they have a message for us as well. So they, they, they spoke to one of our one of my daughters, and that one came to me and said, Pastor, some two ladies they came, they said they have a message for Pastor Wally. It's very urgent. And they said they have a dream. I said, No problem. I said, they should tell you. <laughs> they said they don't need to see me. If it's a message from they should tell you, you come and tell me. They said, No, no, no. They have to come and tell me. After that so much, I said, Okay. Bring them in. They came sat in front of me. This time, I just wanted to have fun. So both of them started to me. I said, so what is it? So they, this one too, they told me. I said, okay. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. God bless you. You can go now. They said, so? I said, there's no so. I said, you said God sent you. Eh? I said, tell him. You have given the message. They were not happy. So I said, let's bow our down. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray the prayer to move them. Then they left. Don't be subject to people that want to manipulate your destiny. Anything that is contrary to the word of God, I don't care who's saying it. It's, there is no light in it. Don't run, I've taught you here, don't run after prophets. Don't run after prophecy. Run after God. Seek God. Not prophets. Not prophecies. Stop calling people over the internet. Calling your siblings in Nigeria, in Ghana. In Ghana. 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 There's an area in Ghana, they told me, 
where you have a lot of prophets. Someone said, well, you know, there was this Ghanaian prophet that said, hey, so and so and so and so he was going to die. That should be careful. That so and so. Listen, that's fine. But you should not be calling people to ask them for prophecy over your life. I hope this makes sense to somebody here. Yes, Keep going, please. Give me verse 12. I'm about to be done now. We're going to start praying now. Verse 13. For this reason, it was hired that I should be afraid. You see fear again? Any prophecy that inspires fear in you. Oh, no, that's not the Spirit of God. And to act that way and then see so that they may have cause for an evil report that they might reproach me. Verse 14, my God, remember Tobias, remember Sambalat, according to these works, and the prophetess Noadiah, hey, and the rest of the prophets who have made me afraid. Ah, this is where I'm going, verse 15, finally. <laughs> Celebrating at the end. So the wall was finished. Ah, I will celebrate at the end. You will celebrate at the end. You will celebrate at the end. I will celebrate at the end. Be careful for all these things that Satan uses, particularly in this period. You're fasting, your spirit is sharp. Even if you wake, you sleep, and you have a dream, and the dream is contrary to the will of God in your life. Listen, it's contrary to the written word of God. Don't ignore or neglect. Stand up. Pick your Bible. I mean, if that's what you're comfortable doing. Pray against it. It does not mean it is fully established. It does not mean it's established. Even if you have the dream six times, it does not mean it is the will of God and it's established. If it's contrary to the word of God, don't accept it. Wake up and say, Satan, you're a liar. Not me. When I was in London and I applied to come to Canada, many times I would sleep and I would see myself walking on the streets in Lagos, <laughs> talking to my childhood friends. Hey, how are you? Then I would wake up, sweat. The first thing I would look at is where well, <laughs> then I would, I'll tell you the truth. Then I would see the um, bedsheet. It. I will see that, ah, okay, the best just, ah, I'm still in London. I'm still in London. I'm still in London. At that time, I didn't know all these things. I know. Then, about yeah, another week later, Satan will come again. It's me coming out from my friend's house in Nigeria. Ah, God. What is that? What is that? This time around, not, not, nothing. Not like, I had the dream I told you concerning the open heaven some years ago. I entered the hall. I was the only one. So I said, ah, Where's everybody in the dream? Ah, the only one in the door. Then I woke up. I said, Satan, you are a liar. I said, you're so stupid. Even my wife is not here. <laughs> it's not true. It does not mean it's a suggestion to you. Stand up. You can change it with the word of God. Because uh, you will celebrate at the end. So give me Job chapter 8, verse 7. Job chapter 8. Though your beginning was small, your latter end will increase abundantly. Let me just explain to you what it means in different contexts. You're starting the way you're starting right now. You're putting in an input. It doesn't look like you're seeing any change. He said, please don't stop because the end of it, there's a major, major testimony. 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 Every spirit, lying spirit that has been unleashed on you to move you out of your place, out of your watchtower of prayer. Today, I take authority over the lying spirit. I bind the lying spirit in Jesus' name. Bishop Oyedebo told us the story of how many, 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 many years ago he slept and he saw himself lying in a casket, dead. And then he woke up. 
And then he says that you're a liar. And he quoted one scripture, two scripture, three scripture. And that's the end of it. It doesn't mean it's going to happen. You see yourself, you have an accident. It doesn't mean that, oh my God, you won't believe. Stand up! Take the scriptures. Open the scriptures. You have a wonderful future with a happy ending. Satan, it's not going to end for me in tragedy. I will celebrate at the end. Stand on your feet like a champion. Now, lift those hands if you will celebrate at the end. Lift those hands. May you do I will celebrate at the end. 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 Father, I thank you. Come on, thank him. Thank him. I thank you because I will celebrate at the end. Kubaka I will celebrate at the end. Sunta Bava. Fere Nemeto Suvanande. E Krema Kumba Kevi Leto Maravagasiabi. E Prake Matu Bale Ferege de Moskevi and the Kevini. Imprande Kepe Le Prege de Mosovono Kotomanas Kavanaya. Makapa Le Vikete de Brondo Bokovoskovoni Akalaza. I will celebrate at the end. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Because that's what will happen. I will celebrate at the end. Glory to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Before we get into other prayers, now take your personal request to God. Any personal request you have in the name of He that says, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take it to the Almighty God right now. Come on, let's go.
thanksgiving. Let's begin to bring our prayers to a close. Thank you, Lord. Father, we honor you. We thank you. Begin to give him thanks for answered prayers because he has heard you. Begin to give him thanks for answered prayers. Father, I thank you. I know you have heard me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your holy name, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray Amen. the fear is that God will fail us but God will not fail us Amen. Joshua 21 45 Joshua 21 45 quickly please Joshua 21 45 not a word failed of any good thing which the Lord has spoken to the house of Israel Father I lift my hands to you come on come on I know you will not fail me I agree with your word you will not fail me you will not fail my children you will not fail my wife you will not fail my family you will not fail my ministry. Father, you will not fail me. Not a word of yours will fail. You've said, oh God, that I have a wonderful future with a happy ending. You will not fail me. That the end of a matter is better than the beginning. You will not fail me. You will not fail me. Oh, kape kefenge kefenge you will not fail me i lift my hands to say thank you lord i serve a god that will not fail I, but even more importantly to me tonight i serve a god that will not fail me i serve a god that will not fail me i serve a god that will not fail me i proclaim and worship you lord jesus you will not fail me you are too faithful to fail me you are too faithful to fail me you are too faithful to disappoint me you are too faithful to leave me halfway you will not fail me glory to your name i know you will not fail me thank you lord blessed be your name in jesus name we pray Isaiah chapter 60 verse 11 Isaiah 60 verse 11 Therefore your gates will not be shut They will be open day and night That men may bring unto you The wealth of the Gentiles Basically Father open the doors In my life to miracles Open the doors in my life To miracles Open your mouth Father let the doors in my life Be open to miracles be open to wonders. Be open to signs. Father, open the doors of my life. Oh, kapeke fenke badaya. Open the doors in my life to miracles, to signs, to wonders. Oh God, neke breke fe, leke parova doske fe. Matemvente ke pere veni tu gozode. E reke pako mateveni. Inde veleke marozo zomatande. Eke pako mareve ke skeve. Inde le vereke dondos kovonto gumana. Pika la marabo dos kovonto gumala skeveni ya. Je feke malavaras kayara. My gates will not be shut. Day and night, open the doors in my life, oh God, to miracles, to signs, to wonders. Ke pako marepe gedes kebelia, mato marepe gedes kebelia, to supernatural help, to vina kobare gedes kem. Open the doors in my life, oh God. Onko maleve ngenge ngenge ngenge, o makepe ke mere gedes ndobo do 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 skem. Him pretende meke leve gedes ndobo do skemelia. Oh, to miracles, to signs, to wonders. In Kepakoma Le Brekede, to supernatural manifestations of the Holy Spirit. Open the doors. Open the doors, O God. Scopa Kepere Betele Vantenia. O Pale Kepere Keskin. In Pale Matema Remedes Kobade. E Yefele Tema Rosco Yata. E Vele Yata. O Pale Marebegeres Keviande. Shivona Matenge Vele Retes Kevia. Shivona Catele Veregedesia. Man to balay vere gede bos kabalia, hom pake vele ete desia. Man ne bere vos vono tondo balabrasia, eke pare gede bono sefeleta. Man no malay ke peke re makoto bono vos kere. 
e prale ke preke de bodo do do boskeni si vantene re prako matoro malo do boskeni male paro bodo se fele mantene re a oji kapo na mora boske e prale prate de matomo se fele ya je fe ke te ne moro bosko vone yante o pon de dos o god matade ke perezo matenge fele ya je fe ke matoma re fe ke ske fe si la koto male vara o prake te pele te ne maya Pray, pray, pray. Mako mate, impale be remendo bo se venete. Shifa to male, o kapora mate feke se fe katada. Lova la kede moro subodata, impale fre kede mos kabata. Impale ve 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 ke malavaratua, meke valaratua nde karuska vente ke veliyan. Apare va 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 va, apare va va va, apare va kata, apare figando, ashe ve ke te makata. On ta ve le ke ve retes ke fa, o ti ale varoska vi. Shifa Roma skava tenge vele ya taroskia. Father, open the doors, open the doors in my life to the supernatural manifestation, to miracles, to signs, to wonders that will bring glory to your holy name. Se fakete berekede, implante mekereba, o pare veke zebeda. Shufa ne, aji veke mate vele ya, aji veke matalo rosia. I matere veneze atele ya, o juvare ke veske vaya. Shufa na ta 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 ta, shufa na ta ta ta. Ta 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 ta, juva na ta 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 ta, kratonda beleveneta, o baleve ke zeventa, o bale venten ki veti andoske, shiva kato mareve ke ske veti ando, e ki akaka, e kapora maze vene ke vali, rafali antonda kave, ruzane kabaton zete, in the name of Jesus, makoma ke kaka, makoma ke kaka, makoma ke kaka. Mako make kaka, kare kate kabale, imbake bale bare vesegeba, umbale kabare vere mo zevere ante, luba ke bare vere. Let the doors be open. All the doors the enemy has shut to the supernatural manifestation of your goodness, of your kindness in my life. Let them be open today in Jesus' name. Father, bale bako mare vegezeske, imprane balo bare vesia. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 10. Leviticus 26 and verse 10. You shall eat the old harvest. Clear out the old because of the new. Is there anybody here that can genuinely say, God did something for me before? God did something for me before. God did something for you before. God is saying, you are the prayer for Father, give me new testimonies. Give me new testimonies. Thank you for the ones you've done for me before. No, I'm grateful, Lord God. I'm grateful for all the things you have done for me. Ah, Lord God of heaven, I did not earn it. I know I don't even deserve it. But Lord, I'm praying, I'm asking you tonight. Oh Lord, give me new testimonies, oh God. Groundbreaking testimonies. Makebele vere zebetangolosia. Mante balo mare bagadasia. Give me new testimonies. Give my family new testimonies, oh God. Je peke paro masovalate. Emprale be revenendo setele yadoskia. Ingle bobo sefe. Rakoto na magebele yata. O bilivi atele magarabadoskia. Enje vele retengo dobo sifi alata. Mando bare vagasu vunatenge. Oh, give me new testimonies, oh God. Give my family new testimonies, my father. Shifa ne kapatove. Efe le matomava. Rita matomo fialeta. Thank you for what you've done, oh God. In previous years, I'm grateful, oh God. In previous years, I'm super grateful, oh God. Thank you for what you have done. But Lord... Give my family new testimonies. Give my family new testimonies. Give my family new testimonies. Ele babo bo sata. Ele brabo bo bo sata. Ele braba ba 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 sata. Enge fale ke banto ba se veneta. Give me new testimonies, oh God. Ke palle vende matomba ke via. Oji varege matomba via leta. 
O Bufane Kabalu Varazian. Shufa kete kete keleba, o kratemba komba kevelete, shivana tanta kopa kevelete ngosifia. Tufia ne keberia, sotomba koba lifra zenga duski, ya lotambe keveleti andoska, komba keveni andorujan, keyeti aroska bayi. Man toba leve regeskevia. Father, decorate me with new testimonies, O oh God. Lord, in my personal life, in my family, Lord, in the ministry, you have entrusted into my hands. Let me see new testimonies. Let me hear new testimonies. Let me experience new testimonies, O oh God. Let my family experience new testimonies, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. I appreciate you for what you've done in time past. I celebrate you for what you've done for me in time past. Thank you for the old harvest. Thank you for the old harvest. Madle bato marevene. He brake pete le vados kaya. O jivane ke baleya. Open your mouth and pray. Online family, open your mouth. Pray. Skabato mave. Jinto make. He krete boto make. Rekoto malevagan. In Domba Lege 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 Seke Prakoma Reke Patoma Leve E Yefa Koma Temba Leve Seke Yefe Kepe Kete Raba Baba Baba Make Pale Vreke Deve Seke Yeke Para Baba Baba Make Pale Rebe Lege 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 Yeke Paro Mateve Le Anto Suka Pate Pale Veniti Aduska Jepe Reke Matona Malifiate Radon Tabiale Rado Kamatova Yalata So Fante Keve Tadea I pray I ask of you O God O God Give me new testimonies O God Yapo Tave Le Kabata Yes Yes Lord New testimonies Perivia tenda, o pa ke bele veneziasa. Oh God, do a new thing in my life. Do a new thing in my family, oh God. Kabeni yando, he prayi kabalaska. Mi kamara voskebiya, he pale vereke deskebiya. Mate maru voskebiya, o pan nevele teriaska. Kodiya, pole vereskebiya ata. Thank you, Lord. Lord, do a new thing. Do a new thing. Let me express new dimensions of the supernatural, of the divine supernatural. Let me express new dimensions of the divine supernatural. In the name of Jesus, Makabo Zavada, Empale Barazutan. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 8, verse 25. He said to them, where is your faith? Luke 8, 25. Where is your faith? Why were you afraid? You will not be afraid again. You will not be afraid again. I can't hear your amen. You will not be afraid again. So what is it that's going to stop this fear? In the previous verse. The previous verse, verse 24. He awoke. Master, we're perishing. Keep going. Keep going. He arose. He rebuilt the wind. He rebuilt the wind. You are going to take authority. Every strange wind that has blown into my life, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Every evil wind that has come into my life, come into my family, I rebuke you. I address you, wind, evil wind, wind sent by the enemy, wind sent by the kingdom of darkness into my life, against my life, against my wife, against my children. I rebuke you, evil wind. In Jesus' name, come on, Kobate Ve, Eti Liato, Asedi Alaza, Potene Viaka, O Kritiale, Pale Bente Beleve, O Riva Tengabaza, Mato Marifiale, Ezefene Tando, Sukra Tata Tata, Sukra Tebale, Abiriti Adoska, Shonta Veneka, O Kereti Alo, Ponte Vene, you evil wind. You demonic wind, stand up against my destiny. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. You evil wind, stand up against the destiny of my wife. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. You evil wind, stand up against the destiny of my son. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. You evil wind, stand up against the destiny of my daughter. I rebuke you 
in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you. You evil wind, stir up against the destiny of my family. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Fika, 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 fika. Feriado kaskataya. Leveneba kasataya. Beleva. Make a lebra bababa. Matele babo sava. Yalava so tombale. I rebuke you. I rebuke you. In the name of Jesus. You evil wind, on Adabia, released against me, released against my ministry, released against the church of God, house of praise, and its different expressions. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. Iriti alega bata, o bate vene delicia, o jale di ala kasata, o bate vele na mara, o kriti ale, bamba ne viate, bamba na kasata, o kriate la kasat, mi tele vene beta, li vene metando, o jivare kaskata ya, mi liti avosante, karos kava tene malava, o bale ve 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 ve, o bale fa 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 Ankete le baraba, ankete le baraba, makete baraba la sebeni, imba le vereke I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Any evil wind that's been stirred up against me, stirred up against my family, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Asaba la tandeli, stirred up against my wife, stirred up against my children. Evil wind, I speak to you now. Go back to where you're coming from in Jesus' name. Go back to where you're coming from in Jesus' name. Skopake Vanetalaya. Ayala Vasato Mate Venezia. Evil wind, I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Kapata Mayata, Naboskavaya. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. If you're still awake here, stretch forth your hand towards me. And the Alura Bada, every evil wind that has been set up against you, I rebuke the wind in Jesus' name. The evil wind will not land on your life. It will not land on your life. It will not land in your space. It will not land in your household. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now we're going to pray. The raging of the water. That means you are going to specifically mention the issue. Immigration delay, I rebuke you. Barrenness, I rebuke you. Sickness, get out. Come on, open your mouth. Rebuke it. Speak to it directly. No, no, no. Immigration delay. Nowhere. Poverty, you must go. You must go. Today, you must go. I rebuke you today by the authority of God's word. Delay, you must go. Loneliness, you must go. Anxiety, you must go. Yes, yes, you must go. Diabetes, you have to go. You have to go. Yes, you must go. Cancer, you must go. You must go. I speak to you today. Go! 
unemployment, you must go. You have to go. Speak to the region of the water. I'm not accommodating you again. Poverty, I'm not accommodating you. Sickness, I'm not accommodating you. Delay, I'm not accommodating you again. I'm speaking to you now. Go! In Jesus' name. Skafaya Takaya. Femburaski. 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 Makili braka ba 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 ba, maka braka ga 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 ga, makila brusu vuno tandalia, ete bali vini makura ba kubasi vini ta, olive, olive fe 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 fe, rakoto ba de vini ziata. In the name of Jesus, kamu na vuse vinde, ife kamatambo la vazia, ife kamatunda ba livre zegeri. I rebuke you. Failure. Go! In Jesus' name. Go! Shame. I rebuke you. In Jesus' name. Kabalaba. You will not find a place in my life. You will not find a place. You will not find a place in my family. Not my household. I rebuke you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name. You guys back me up. And you deserve the glory. Heavenly heart. The Lord will lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name and you deserve the glory and the honor and Lord we lift my hands in worship as we bless your for you are great you to me Numbers 11.31 Numbers 11.31 Now a wind went out from the Lord from the Lord and it brought quail from the sea and left them fluttering near the camp this is where we're going now about a day's journey if this wind from the Lord can bring testimonies to within one day for them. Father, all the miracles, Lord, that will put me where I ought to be, within, in this season, send your wind to bring them to me. Send your wind, oh God. Let your wind blow. Let it blow in my testimonies, oh God. Let it blow in my miracles. Let it blow in my signs. Send your wind, my father, let it blow in the supernatural manifestations you promised me. According to your word, these signs shall follow them that believe. 
send your wind. Send your wind, my father. Send your wind. You did it for the children of Israel. The wind came. He brought in the testimony to within one day, to within 24 hours. Send your wind. You can do it within these 40 days. Within these 40 days, you can do it. Send your wind, oh God. Let your wind bring my testimonies. My long awaited testimonies. My testimonies bring it within these 40 days, oh God. Send your wind. My Father, Heavenly Father, send your wind. Open your mouth. Pray. Pray. Suffer to mercy. Recover to my giving this attack. Go back if it came at Toba Livigazian. Send your wind, oh God. So Tabeke Fingibala, Holy Gaba giving it Tabiaza, Shufa Kateve Kizimata, Kotile Fingimata Razwa, Urakasua Tenge Belizian, Tomba Kevin Niki Valata, Holy Vigazi Vigiri Tanguskovia, Shufa Nemete Vigazana, Your face and Tema Kevelizetiando. Send your wind, O oh God. Send your wind. A wind went out from the Lord. My Father, you can do it again. Send your wind to bring in my testimonies, to bring in my miracles, to bring in my wonders, to bring it, O oh God. The miracles, the signs, and wonders you've ordained for me, ordained for my wife, ordained for my children, ordained for my household, Lord, ordained for my ministry. In this season, Lord, you've ordained, O oh God, my God, that I'm yet to walk in. I'm yet to see. I'm yet to experience. Father, I pray today. Send your wind. Send your wind to God. To bring it within my reach. Within my reach in this next 40 days. In this season, oh God. Within my reach. Kefe. Kefava. Fakiele. Virimatomba. Lefatoska. Send your wind, oh God. Go back if anything. O Tivara Bazakada, make if it take a Lubus at Tangarabosiata, Kumba Kimpe get and give Regis Kumunata, make it Pelet Peritonos Kumunate, Makabamba Baba 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 you fum kama kivi riki ze kivi gitiski. You fiki mala fakata fata 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 fara taka fita tata ye kivi alata kivi zite fita rufa fa 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 fa. Send your wind, my father. Oh, blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Finally, go back to where we started. Nehemiah 6.15 I will celebrate at the end. You will celebrate at the end. So the wall was finished on the 25th day. The wall that they did not want us to finish. Look at verse 1. Verse 1. Nehemiah 6 verse 1. Okay, I had rebuilt the walls, keep going, that I had rebuilt the walls and there were no bricks in it. Though at that time, I had not hung the doors. That means I had not finished it at that time. That's how we came in here. That's how we came into this service. But, verse 15 says, the walls were finished. They were finished. The walls were finished. In the name of of Jesus Christ you will celebrate at the end every good thing that is in process in your life right now you will finish well you will not miscarry the testimony you will not miscarry the testimony Satan will not abort your testimony you will not miscarry the testimony Satan will not abort your testimony Every good thing God is doing, God is about to do, that is in process, in progress, in process right now, in your life, in the name of Jesus Christ, it will end well. It will end in glory. 
you will celebrate at the end. So this is how we're going to wrap this up. You're going to find one person, one person, maximum two, hold their hands. And you're going to pray for them. Father, I pray that for this sister of mine or this brother of mine, that they will celebrate at the end. Okay, they will celebrate at the end. Oh, this is my brother will celebrate at the end. This is my sister will celebrate at the end. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Let my brother celebrate at the end. Let my sister celebrate at the end. Oh, let them celebrate at the end. Kokaba. Mikaba Kuba Ragavisi. Etifi Kabato Bagavenese. Celebrate at the end. Keparabato Bafiale. So make it, 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 carry a toto, make it matondozo, and make it papa baba. Pray, pray. Kapona, 90 seconds more. Pray for them. Kapa kapa kefigida, o pake vale kapa katakaskayan. Celebrate at the end. So paka paka maraba zevene. Re pake vene te kapataska, o pake vele matandeske. Celebrate at the end. Go back if you need to live on a or a van and a celebrate at the end. I will celebrate at the end. Oh, back a period, keep it to come as cafe. Scafa cabatenge fekisi. Je fenke baleva rascataya. Oh, chiefe de kebele tando scofi alatan. Celebrate at the end. I will celebrate. At the end, Satan, you're a liar. We'll celebrate at the end. Scofa came by living as he said. Say, say, today, say, say, tata, tario, don't pat a belly retesia. Celebrate at the end. Scopa te belly balaskaya. I'll celebrate 30 seconds more. Pray for them. Pray for them. Calabados cavayada. Malefe ke betabo. Celebrate. At the end, celebrate. At the end, Kapo Tade, 15 seconds more. Pray for them. Let my brother celebrate. At the end, let my sister celebrate. At the end, so Tabakada, very atonda lezava. Celebrate in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Please take your communal elements wherever you are. Please. I will celebrate at the end. I will celebrate at the end. We take the communion in accordance with scripture. Two main general scriptural reasons that is general why we take the communion. First, the Eucharist to give thanks to the Almighty God for sending His Son Jesus to rescue us from our sins. So we take the communion in giving thanks to God. Secondly, general, generally, we take the communion for do this in remembrance of me to remember that we that were once not a people strangers to the commonwealth of Israel without access to any inheritance that we have now according to the grace of God we have now been grafted in we are now Hears of God and joint hears with Christ. So we remember that we're now members of the household of God. Generally. But today also specifically by prophetic insight into scripture, I want us to partake of this communion. Exercising our faith. Letting God know that the wind has started blowing. Blowing in our testimonies. Assuring us that we are going to celebrate at the end. 
So take out the bread. On the night that Jesus Christ was betrayed, he took the bread and he gave thanks. Father, we give you thanks tonight. We honor you. We magnify your name for the salvation of our souls, for the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross for us. We appreciate you, Lord. And as he took the bread, he blessed it. Bless this bread, O oh God. And he broke it and he said, take it. This is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. We partake of the very body of Jesus Christ today that was broken for us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In the same manner after supper he took the cup and said take drink this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for many for the remission of sins do this in remembrance of me for as often as you do this you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes we partake of the very blood of Jesus Christ today the blood that wiped away our sins and brought us into the new covenant father we honor you for this in Jesus name specifically tonight Lord, being prompted by your Holy Spirit, by the revelation of your Holy Spirit, we believe we'll celebrate at the end. Yeah. So as we partake of the communion today, your word says you sent out a wind in Numbers 11, 31. You sent a wind went out from the Lord that brought quails all around the camp of the children of Israel one day's journey. If your wind can bring their testimony within a day's journey, definitely your wind on the authority of the new covenant that is based on better promises can blow into our lives within these 40 days of waiting on you and bringing our miracles our signs and our wonders breaking the stranglehold of delay so as we partake of this today father let the wind begin to blow so we partake of this today in the name of the father and of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Open your mouth and declare the wind is blowing. The wind is blowing in my miracles. The wind of the Holy Spirit is blowing in my testimonies. The wind of the Holy Spirit is blowing in my testimonies. It's blowing in my miracles. It's blowing in my wonders. Blowing in miracles, signs, and wonders for me. Blowing in my testimonies. So I can say boldly, I will celebrate at the end. I will celebrate at the end because the wind of the Holy Ghost is blowing in my testimonies. So I will celebrate at the end. Woo! I will celebrate at the end. Woo! I will celebrate at the end. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus mighty name we pray you will celebrate at the end from this day from this night the wind of the spirit of God is blowing in your favor the shackles of delay are broken by the power of the spirit of God your miracles, signs and wonders that have been delayed the wind of the Holy Spirit from this day, blows it into your life in Jesus' name. Within this 40 day fast, the wind of the Spirit blows in and gives you new testimonies in Jesus' name. You will celebrate at the end. 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 One last time, you will celebrate at the end. Go ahead and give Jesus some praise tonight. Give him 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 some praise tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying.
Please be seated for a minute. Just for a minute. Just for a minute. Quickly, um, remember we continue with our prayers 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, all virtual. All right? Invite somebody. Let them join us on this um, prayer. This is virtual. You can invite them anywhere in the world. Let them join us. It's streamed on YouTube, so there's no need for any link. They can just join us. 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, um, Eastern Standard Time. Join us. And then 6 p.m. tomorrow, Eastern Standard Time also in the evening. Please remember, we're going to be taking communion, so get your communion elements ready. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will celebrate at the end. You will celebrate at the end. In Jesus' name. Tell two people around you, you will celebrate at the end. I will celebrate at the end. Hallelujah. As we welcome Pastor Chuma, God bless you. Hallelujah. Come on, all the celebrants in the house, put those hands together. We will celebrate at the end in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Are you glad you came to church today? Please, one more time, let's appreciate the Lord. Let's appreciate his servants. Thank you, Jesus. Um, we're going to continue in this service by honoring the Lord with our tithes and our offerings. So if you're a member of this church and you've packaged that already, just begin to put that together and um, uh, do what you need to do to send in your tithes and offerings. For those who are connecting with us for the first time, either in person, in person or online, and you would like to partake of this aspect of the service, please, um, the information you need to do so, if you are here in person, is behind me. And then for those online, you can see that on your streaming devices as well. Uh, you can give with um, the text to give phone number or with the app, and you can also do so with Interact, with using the email finance at houseofpraise.ca. So I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to put that together. We'll pray and we will worship. Hallelujah. Shall we rise? We give you glory, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for your word that has come forth unto us. Thank you. Because we shall rejoice in the end. It's been declared the enemy cannot stop it. We receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the privilege of giving. Thank you for life. Thank you for new life. Thank you for substance. Thank you for means of livelihood. Thank you for increasing us, O oh Lord. Lord, even as we have given, even as we give, we ask, O oh Lord God, that which we cannot do for ourselves. Father, Lord God, grant unto your children in Jesus' name. In this new season, let the windows of heaven be opened over us. Let every devourer be silenced and extinguished concerning us. Let your glory be our portion in Jesus' name. Come on, let's worship. Put your hands together. Oh, no man can see the end of your grave.
Jesus Unlimited, God will bring favor and mercy and goodness into our lives in Jesus' name. It will end in celebration for you. It will end in celebration for me. Tomorrow, 7 a.m., guests connect. Glory to God. Have a wonderful evening. God bless you.